If you launch Scrivener for the first time, close the project you're working on, or go to File, New Project, you'll be presented with a Project Templates dialog box. Aside from the blank project, Scrivener comes with a variety of templates for different projects, which are grouped into the categories on the left here. Fiction, which contains templates for novels and short stories. Non-fiction, which focuses on academic writing, but has a template for general non-fiction. Script writing, for the stage, screen, radio and comics. And miscellaneous, for projects which don't fit into the other categories. Each of these projects has an example structure already in place in the binder, meaning you can get writing in a structured project straight away instead of spending time setting up folders and subfolders. Later, as the project grows, you can use this arrangement of folders as a guideline. None of these project structures is fixed though, and you can always move items in the binder around if it suits you better. If there are elements of a template you don't want to use for this project, you can always just move them to the trash, or open a new blank project side by side with this one, and drag what you want from one binder to another. You aren't just limited to working with these templates either. Each one of these default templates started out as a blank project, and is created using elements you can add to a project yourself. To demonstrate, I'll open the first novel template from the fiction templates, open it side by side with a blank project, and quickly recreate the fiction template structure from scratch inside this blank project. As you can see, most of the organisation is just a matter of creating folders, and assigning icons to them using the right click menu, then adding whatever subfolders they might have. For the sake of simplicity, I'll drag over the example research documents here, but those would simply need to be dragged from Windows Explorer into the research folder. The only element here that needs a little extra attention is the template sheets folder. I've created it manually and imported the character and setting sheets, each of which just contains text, but it doesn't have the functionality yet because I need to assign that from the project project settings menu. This special folders tab will allow you to assign a templates folder. Choosing our template sheets folder will change the icon to a blue icon with a white T, and you'll notice the icons for our character and setting sheets have a smaller version of that T in the lower right. New documents can now be created using these templates by using the drop down arrow next to the add button in the toolbar, or by right clicking in the binder and going to add new from template. We'll have more about this in our video on working with document templates. If you've created your own custom project template, you can save it to the new project dialog by going to file, save as template. Remember that if you intend to share this project template with others, you should remove any personal information that might already be included in the project. I plan to keep this template for my own use, so I'll just look through this dialog box. It will let me give my project template a title, select which category of the new project dialog it appears in, or even set up a custom category of my own, give it an icon or choose a custom icon from my hard drive, and save any text styles I've created into this template. Once we hit OK, the new template will appear in the chosen category in the new project dialog. That's all we're going to cover in this video. If you're interested in learning more about Scrivener, our other videos and guides should be linked nearby. Thanks for watching and happy writing.